Hello and welcome to today's video. As I always say to people, don't buy a new motorhome. Get a used one. And what I've got here is a used vehicle, Ahorn Canada TE Plus. Well, what you could do if you wanted to see the 2018 model is you could try looking up on my site videos I did in 2017. Alternatively, you can watch this video because this a motorhome came on uh, the road in March 2018. It's coming at a price of 49,000 euros. And uh, let's have a look inside. But now the price, I think, reflects the amount of kilometers and the use it's been put to as well. It's got 13,000 kilometers on the clock. It doesn't look very new to me. sorry, it doesn't look very used to me. Uh, in fact, it looks, we'll find something. Don't worry, I haven't been in here at this van before. So I uh, just walked in, you're seeing the van as I am. So, I mean, if it doesn't bother you, the fact that this is a Renault Master from 20, I suppose it would be the 2017 model of the Renault Master, that's not a problem, then, this is the sort of thing you want to be looking at. Obviously it comes from a dealer like this, so you're gonna get a bit of a guarantee as well. This is Achorn in Mulheim. So, there may be differences between the, uh, the current versions. So far I can't actually see them, but I might, I might, I might see them in a, in a short while. You know, so you've got a cubby hole up there and oh, that actually feels as though it doesn't, that doesn't look new at all. Uh, it looks old at all, used at all. Uh, right, that's pretty large, isn't it? I mean, it's enormous. Although I don't quite see the point of having this here. And it's your sock drawer, might be a bit difficult to get your socks out in there. And let's have a look down here as well. Did I give you the price? I can't remember. 49,000. Yes, I did. Right. Now, because of the shape of the beds, it's going to affect the garage. And in this case, as you can see, there's not much of a garage in here if you want to start storing bikes. But if you're not bothered about bikes, then this is probably the sort of garage that might just work for you. It might do, I'm not saying it will. Right, and a convenient place for the the uh, heating is there. There's your boiler, and that switch down there on the right, that's to uh, heat your water dump. And as it's a Truma, when the temperature, internal temperature, gets to four degrees, It'll dump the water. So you wanna make sure it doesn't get low four inside, which in any case is pretty good. Uh, it's not, uh, you don't want it getting too cold inside anyway, in my opinion. All right, so these things take up a lot of room in there, but that's possibly not where you'd keep them anyway. Now, uh, one thing I do notice, however, is that I think there's a possibility here of putting, filling this in to make a larger bed. It certainly does give me that impression. If you wanted it, you'd have to ask. All right, let's close this. There's your own suite. Quite honestly, I think this one looks better than the uh, 2021 version. Now, if you get a used van, you're getting a number of advantages. So uh, it's normally with a used van, you get all the kit with it that people might actually uh, bought because always your solar and all this, um, that's all extra. So um, if somebody 
uh, has um, put the stuff on. I've never actually known people to take it off. Right, well I can tell that this has been used, but very, very little use. But there's a slight, yeah, you can tell sort of specks on there and specks down there. But I mean, this is, this is in really good condition. Now my vehicle doesn't do many kilometers. Uh, so this is, well mind you, this is what, four years old, three years old. Three and a half years old, it's got 13,000. I mean, it's not exactly <laughs> 4,000, less than 4,000 kilometers a year, but it could be, of course. You know, I, I live in my van all the time, I'm using it all the time, so uh, it's um, uh, it's in constant uh, use, even if it doesn't have many kilometers. Yeah, you can tell that that has been used. Central locking. Whereas the shore power here, I thought there was three. I thought there were three, um, what do you call them, plug, uh, electric points, but there aren't. Oh, just try to turn the thing on. Ah, I know why it doesn't work, because I haven't turned the 12 volt on. I'll show you that, how the bed comes down. And it's not connected. Oh well. Is it? Oh well. Sorry, so we're not going to see the bed come down, I think. Anyway, the bed comes down. Yeah, we're not going to see the bed come down today. But I'm sure if you wanted to buy it, they'd show you the bed coming down. So you've got a big fridge there. Big Thetford fridge. Freezer. Now I'm a big fan of small fridges, as anybody will know. But I did meet somebody who had an Ahorn camper van. Uh, which one was it? 620, I think it was. They stood next to me two days ago um, at a place in Poland. So we had a bit of a chat and he said how great the big fridge was so they could have um, uh, plenty of uh, fresh stuff with them. Right, so the uh, sleeps four, as you can tell. Let's go on the outside. So, as I mentioned, garage, sort from inside. Uh, it's got this here, uh, it's got the, the, the hook, and um, I think this is what, I thought, I thought there were two tons. Anyway. Ahorn Canada TE Plus. Right, I really want to do more used vehicles. Now, by the time this gets published, this vehicle, I presume, will no longer be available because used vehicles go very quickly. Nonetheless, there will be other used vehicles here. Maybe not as good, maybe better, who knows? But uh, the way to go is with used vehicles because bear in mind, if you order something, if you're lucky, you might get it next year, the end of next year, if you're lucky. Whereas a used one, you just pick it up and drive it out. So, bear that in mind. That's the way I see things. Let's look at some of the other vehicles we have here. And bearing in mind that most of them will be at Dusseldorf. So, thanks very much for watching. Hope you found it interesting. And uh, all the best from Mülheim in Germany.